How you doing today folks? Nick Guzman here. Today is going to be a very, very quick and simple lesson on what the heck is a H1, H2, and H3 tag. And um, this is one of the biggest questions and in, in issues that I've been seeing a lot of people uh, have. You know, a lot of people have been sending me emails asking me exactly what that is. And it's pretty simple. So what I'm going to show you is exactly how simple it is to fix it. So it's going to be no longer a problem. And this actually works either on your Empower Network blog, your WordPress blog, or a regular WordPress blog. So it could work for either or. It does not matter. So as you can see, I set up a sample post. And you can see three lines here. Okay, just one says how to resolve H1, H2, H3 tag problems. The other one says simple way to fix H1, H2, H3 tag issues. And the third one says H1, H2, H3 tag problems resolved. And this is what you see on the right. So as you can see, not fixing these issues, no matter what kind of blog post that you have, if you don't know how to do this, it's always going to affect your SEO score, which means that it's going to affect your rankings on Google or for the search engines or, you know, um, pretty much any search engine out there. So you want to make sure that whatever posting that you write, that you know exactly what to do to fix this. So all this means is when you see this and there's you see an X, 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 that, um, that red X there, all this means is that you haven't tagged your um, keywords in uh, three different areas where, for example, let's just say that my keyword in this situation, see where it says tags, is H1, H2, H3, and tag. So whatever keyword you're, you're going to target, you want to make sure that you put it here at the bottom. So what's going to happen is, is let's just say that my keyword is H1, H2, H3, tag. So, for example, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to include one is going to be a heading one, okay? Another one is going to be a heading two. And this could be anywhere on your post. It doesn't have to be right underneath each other. But the keywords that you're targeting, you want to make sure that it's included in your headlines for a headline one, headline two, and a headline three tag. That's all that means. Now we'll go here, headline three. And then we go back over here to the um, SEO score. And watch this. Boom. Now you have a green check mark on exactly you wanted to accomplish. So problem solved, told you it was not, it's not rocket science, it's pretty simple to do. Um, but an important thing to remember, I don't want to go too much into detail in this uh, particular video, but you want to also make sure you just don't write the same thing for H1 and H2 and H3. Meaning, look at how I have these three different headlines structured. Even though you see the same keyword in each headline, the sentences all say something different. The first one says how to resolve H1, H2, H3 tag problems. The second one, simple way to fix H1, H2, H3 tag issues. The third one, H1, H2, H3 tag problem solved. And it's so important that whatever keyword that you're including in your headlines, you don't want it to exactly say the same thing as all your other headlines. You kind of want to mix it up a little bit. Because when Google does their searches, you know, um, they actually look at that and it will affect your SEO score. So that's pretty simple to do. If there's any questions or concerns, please feel free to send me a message, uh, share this with your team, like it. And at the same time, at the bottom of this email, there's also going to be a link to a posting that's going to show you step-by-step -step instructions how to do this. But... This is so simple to do. I'm pretty sure you have the basic idea. And if you're running into this video for the first time and wondering, what the heck is Empower Network? Um, there's all, just go to www.residualtreasurechest.com and see how we paid out $20 million in commissions in a one year period in 170 countries, ladies and gentlemen. Because if you're brand new to WordPress and you're brand new to blogging, we can get all those problems solved right up front. We actually have a blogging platform and an educational platform where pretty much we teach people how to do um, 
uh, uh, blogging in a very, very effective and a simplistic way to make sure that you could ensure your rankings on page one of Google or any search engines you want to target. Thank you so much, and you have a great day. And remember, if you need information, go to www residualtreasurechest.com and at the bottom of this post there's going to be a link to a blog uh, uh, that shows you step-by-step -step instructions on how to effectively fix an H1, H2, and an H3 tag problem. Thank you so much and you have a great day.